Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review. Alright. Uh, this one is by Crowns and Hops Brewing Company. And uh, they're from Inglewood, California. And this one's called Freestyle Versus IPA. And it comes in at 6.8% alcohol by volume. Uh, I've never had this before, never seen it before, nothing. And I picked up uh, four pints at Total Wine More for like 16 bucks out the door. And it was canned on uh, 9721. So it's about a month and a half old. It says hip hop forever. That's cool, whatever, whatever floats your boat. There's some uh, literature there. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it. Okay. And what else? A bunch of signatures on it. And, uh, yeah. Mm. To Westy. Doesn't say the hops, unfortunately. Well, let's get a crack open and see what we got here. So we have a huge, frothy, creamy, silky head, some bubbles popping up in there in the middle. And uh, for the most part, it's a clear, light amber color. Very, very slight haze to it. Very slight though. Not completely clear, but for the most part it is. Okay, as you can see. Donut on top. Oh, yeah. Interesting can. I've done a few of their beers and they're pretty darn good. I gotta admit it. Really nice looking beer here. Let's get an aroma on this puppy. Mmm, that smells good. Yeah, yeah this this dip this <laughs> this different. That's good though. Wow, some pininess coming through for sure. Marijuana, man. I'm getting like marijuana. It smells like marijuana, kind of. Yeah, piney marijuana. Like a sweetness, almost like a like a powdered sugar. <sighs> almost a little herbally, not herbally, but kind of like um, like a desert kind of, like almost like a sage, almost almost like a sage. So, like if you're like in. Maybe Riverside or Paris, California, and you're going through kind of like the desert. You kind of get that kind of sage kind of mixed smell with other stuff. But it's like marijuana piney. <laughs> That's really good smelling though. It smells really good actually. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Taste follows the aroma. It's pretty dank. 
It's pretty dank. Nice head retention. Um, it's got medium mouthfeel. No booziness, no raw alcohol notes. Let's get that out of the way. Very well constructed, obviously. Um, it's uh, definitely a Westie. Definitely a good one. Hmm. Yeah, this one's pretty complex. So I'm going to sip on it for a while, let it warm up, see if I can kind of break this down a little bit, and I'll be right back, okay? Yeah, uh, took a few sips. That's pretty much what I got on this puppy. What I mentioned earlier, you know, nothing much has changed. Uh, warmed up a little bit, but um, it's a very tasty uh, Westie for sure. I guess I'm picking up a little earthy kind of uh, hops in there as well now. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. A uh, very tasty beer. I'm not sure if I'd pick it up again for the price, but. Um, Pretty, pretty good beer. So um, with that said, on a scale of one to five stars, two and a half being C average, I'm gonna give this puppy a 4.3. So pretty damn tasty. Uh, definitely not a budget, um, you know, craft beer, but a uh, pretty darn tasty, uh, almost shop, top shelf. So that's my story. I'm gonna stick with that. Thanks for stopping by and checking it out. And uh, you all have an awesome day and we'll catch you later, okay? See ya, cheers.